There are all kinds of things in the world today. Some are pretty dumb, but others okay. But nothing compares to the things back in my day. Burger King presents Return of the Jedi Glasses. Four new glasses from the Star Wars saga. Thrilled to the adventures of Luke Skywalker. The Ewoks. Han Solo. And Jabba the Hutt. Have you ever, like, sat down to eat, picked up a glass, and it was just like a, an ugly piece of junk, and you're like, I don't even want to put my beverage in this piece of crap? Has yes. that ever happened to you? Yes, yeah. actually well, it has. Well, you know what? Back in my day, glasses were a lot cooler. Back in my day, it was all about collectible glasses, as you can see here. Now, if you've ever heard us talk about, you know, Burger King glasses is what we kind of generalize them all in. Um, but in fact, there was, there was so many different restaurants and, and companies that were putting out these, these, these collectible glasses, which you just really don't see anymore, especially for movies. You know, here we go. We got Empire Strikes Back. This was actually a Burger King glass. Uh, I actually have a, a Burger King Star Wars. Um, uh, nah, nah. Uh, actually, just technically Return of the Jedi, but you know, you get the idea. Um, uh, but again, like I said, it wasn't just Burger King. It was Dairy Queen, you know, which there's nothing cool on here except for Dairy Queen stuff, but still, 1976, it's vintage. Taco Bell got in on it, you know, the uh, Star Trek movies. And, and it was like, that was the big thing, too, you know. Uh, a big time movie would be coming out, and, you know, there'd be promos for it. There'd be glasses for it. This was something special you know what i mean like this one for instance this is mcdonald's we're just talking about mcdonald's 1981 great muppet caper when that one came out you know we think about it it was genius man because you got one well what happened you'd want to get all you want to get a lot of times they'd come in a set of four four to six depending on 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 the movie or whatever it was but and it was usually with with a purchase uh you know you, you could you could buy the glass for a, what one one to two dollars pepsi jumped on this glass bandwagon like Hardcore. Look, there we Superman. Superman. The movie. And, and these are these are durable, man. I I've actually I actually do use these, and I put them in the dishwasher, and they, I mean, they're fine. And you know, uh, this this thing is like this came out in '78, so what is that? Like 17 years old? Uh, 17. 17 years, years old. <laughs> 27. Um, so like 37. 37. 37. 37. Speaking 37 of Superman, years old. you know, like I was saying, Pepsi. Pepsi jumped on the bandwagon deal. Here's another Superman glass, which, I mean, he's kind of a generic superhero, but they had Shazam in the same line. There was Wonder Woman and there was Robin also. Um, not only that, but, you know, uh, Looney Tunes characters. This is 1973 right here. Uh, Bugs Bunny is actually one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time, actually. The oldest glass up here is... Uh, this Porky Pig glass is 1966, and this one's from Arby's, actually. See, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't just Burger King. We will generalize it as Burger King, but, I mean, you look right here, you've got McDonald's, you got Arby's, you got Dairy Queen, you got Burger King, you know, Pepsi, Coca-Cola glass right here, the King Kong, 1976. The great, from a collecting standpoint, the great thing about these now is, like, they're not really highly sought after. Um, you know, most of these, you know, if you got them at like a retail or antique store, you're looking at four to five to six, seven bucks. A lot of people will price the Star Wars like 10 or so more just because it's Star Wars. But a lot of times you can go to a flea market and get them for a couple bucks. You know, a lot of these we got for that price. I know, I know the particular one, the um, the King Kong ones. I have another King Kong one we got for like two bucks from somebody. A flea market. We yeah, got these at a flea, flea market, market actually. Um, uh, actually, look, the sticker's still on there, $2. Uh, another another good place to look for these things and and yeah th these are cool and um, yeah it's not just video games with us it's all kinds of of crap from you know 70s and 80s but uh, thrift stores. Well, see the thing about thrift stores too though you know they'll see a glass like this they'll just throw it all with the other glasses. Exactly. They're not going to put them exactly. up on the shelf and go oh this is special. Exactly. You know? So look two two of the same interesting. But that means I get one. See back in our day. We got, I'll give you one, why not? I'll give you one of these, I got two of them. Sweet. So back in our day, we had collector's glasses, commemorative glasses and stuff, and you just don't see it anymore. You know what they should do for the next Star Wars movie, episode seven? They should bring back the etched glass. Do it, Burger Disney, King. do, do it, it, Disney. Burger King, Disney, get together and do this. Yeah. Once again. 
So that just proves once again that things were better back in our day. Much better. The glasses ain't got nothing on the 80s glasses. Pretty much. And 70s and 60s. Yeah, don't forget about those. Don't forget about those. <laughs> Collect all four. Return of the Jedi glasses. Now appearing only at Burger King.